second. Shatarupa, the point also is against these central agencies mounted investigations that they don't get anywhere. I mean, Manoji Mandal is raising the point in Sharda, in Narda. What is the conclusion? How long are these cases going to be dragged out? Then ultimately the question will arise that when it is politically, you know, uh, opportunistic for you, by you I mean the BJP, you mount an investigation against somebody, you uh, do a raid, you arrest them or take them into custody. It is all very nicely timed. No, this is a complaint that we've been hearing from, I don't know, since, since time immemorial. Uh, firstly, let me please clarify that I do not represent the ED or the CBI or any of the central agents. I represent the BJP, so I will talk from the BJP stand. As far as today is concerned, today uh, the West Bengal government, the West Bengal government at, in the Vidhan Sabha tried to pass a resolution against the functioning of the EBED and the CBI and the other central agencies, claiming exactly what Monojit Mundur in a sing-song manner is claiming and what you have just said, that we, uh, the central agencies are uh, yes. you know, biased in their nature. And yes, there was a huge ruckus, there was a huge opposition from our, uh, you know, from the MLAs that we have in the Vidhan Sabha. Now, in the Vidhan Sabha, rather than commenting on the issues, the Honorable Chief Minister, but Colonel got, you know, there's a very, uh, he, she made the comical statements about the leader of opposition. And she tried to get very personal and rather than focus on the issue as usual, they went out in circles. Having done that, coming back to the statement that you were making and what me, the other learned friend was making, that actually West Bank government or school is not really interested in uh, either defending or testing about their own leaders. Here, Monajit Kundal, when I was coming there, was claiming that the most popular leader in Bengal, Anubrata Mandal, still claim that Anubrata Mandal is supposed to be a hero. She, he is to be welcomed, uh, given a hero's welcome, according to the chief minister. But Shatarupa, so you didn't answer really, my question. I, mean, they are going round I get and round it. I get your back and forth with the TMC. This is frankly not a new story because Congress has also alleged the same thing. You didn't answer my question. Are the, are the questions or the doubts over the investigations not fair? If you were being raided one after the other, but none of the cases ever reach a conclusion, wouldn't you say the same? How do how will I answer that, you tell me? I don't represent the central agencies. You're keeping on and on asking me the same question. You so you are saying you have nothing to do with the pace the or the timing I, of these I investigations cannot. or raids? So I cannot answer for the central agencies at all. We are a national party. We are running, running the country now. But unfortunately, central agencies run on their own things. Okay. Meeta Chakrabarti of the Congress agencies. is also joining us. I'm not sure she'll buy your argument. Because look at what has happened today. The Bharat Jodo Yatra of the Congress is going on and DK Shivkumar conveniently gets called to Delhi by the ED in a case that has been dragging on for years. Meeta. May yes. Also uh, firstly, Shatrupa, firstly good, evening good evening to all your viewers. Good evening to all your viewers. And I just need to make three points and I'll substantiate each point with data. Firstly, we are seeing a situation where ED and CBI have become fronters of the BJP ruling party. And why do I say that? Number one, in the past eight years, we see more than 3,000 raids have been conducted. Yet, we see a dismal conviction rate of around 0.5%. So, raids are being conducted, a media trial is being held, a perception is being created in large sections of media hmm. that BJP is on a crusade against corruption. However, there is no fact-finding that is happening. Cases are going on, dragged, investigation is being dragged over years, and yet we do not have any conviction that the guilty is not getting punished and people are being unnecessarily targeted and Number two, why do I see, say that ED and CBI have become frontals of the BJP? Hmm. When we see a Heman Vishwasharma, who was, according to BJP, mind you, the chief accused on water supply scam, when we see a Shubendu Odikari, who was seen on camera taking a bribe, taking money, crossing over to BJP, when we see a Nara and Rani crossing over to BJP, when we see a Yedurappa, the former chief minister, who had spent time in the jail of the BJP party, 
we see that the ed and cbi are dragging their feet no investigation taking place okay, no charge is being filed manu no ji made the happening. same charge but and can yes, i just can i just see that ed and cbi are being selectively used against people of opposition, opposition and there are only two but, targets but let me One also say that in a lot of these cases it's not like when you talk about conviction rate it's not like those accused have even been let off so let's not talk in half numbers and 